Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to trigger hover effects for a module, column and row simultaneously. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Next, we're going to give this page a title. So I'm just going to call this example, click on use Divi Builder, and then we're going to build this from scratch. Right, so here we need a single column. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to close this for now. Now let's update the row settings. So I'm going to come over here to this gear icon to access my row settings. We're going to come over here to the background, click on the third tab, click on this plus button to add our image. Now I already have my image here, so I'm going to go ahead and select it and then click upload an image. Next, we're going to add some padding to this. So I'm going to come over here to design, spacing, and I'm going to add zero pixels, both to the top and the bottom. Now it's time to add our hover effect. So I'm going to come over here to box shadow and this is the option I'm going to go with. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And uh, let's start now by adding my blur strength. So as we can see here, it's set to 18 pixels. I want to start here from zero. And also on the spread strength, this needs to be set to zero as well. So the next stage now is to add my color. So I'm going to come over here on my shadow color, click on this eyedropper tool. So this color here is going to be a solid color. So I'm just going to replace with my color here. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Right. So now that we've added our color, that's looking great. The next stage is to, to come over here on my box shadow spread strength, click on this little icon here with the arrow. And this is where we need to add our hover. So here we're going to set this to 10. So you are going to see this border coming up when we hover over our image. Next, we're going to come over here to the advanced tab, click on transitions, and then we're just going to change these a little bit. So we're going to set this to 500 and the transition delay here is going to be 700. Now let's head over to the columns. So I'm going to click here on content and then here on the column structure, you can see we have one column. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and uh, let's start by adding our box shadow. So I'm going to click here on design box shadow and this is the design we're going to go with so I'm going to go ahead and select it. Next I'm going to add my box shadow color by coming over here to this eyedropper tool. I'm just going to drag it all the way up and this gives me the black color that I need. For the spread strength I'm going to set this to 200. Now on hover this needs to be set to zero so I'm going to click on this little icon and set my zero value here and then over here on the blur strength that needs to be set to zero. And then over here on the transitions, we are going to change these one more time. So this needs to be 500 and then the delay needs to be 200. All right, so it's time to save now. So I'm going to save this, save one more time, and then we're going to add our blurb module. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my blurb module and select it. So the first thing we're going to do here is to add our image. So I'm going to click here on image and icon, and then I'm going to choose my image here. The dimensions are 100 by 100 pixels and then I'm going to click upload an image. Now it's time to add my background color here. So I'm going to click on background, click on this plus button and I'm going to paste my color in here. Now we also need to add our color that shows up on hover. So I'm going to click on this arrow pointing up, click on the hover tab. And since this color here has some transparency. I'm just going to drag the slider down until I get these RGBA values and then paste my value between the brackets like that. Now let's head over here to the design tab because here we need to align our text to the center. So I'm going to click here on text, text alignment center. And as you can see, it's quite difficult to read here on this dark background. So I'm going to come over here and change this from dark to light. So now you can see it's easier to read. Now, moving on, we need to give this blurb a bit of breathing space. So let's head over here to spacing and add some padding. So on the padding here, I'm just going to add 20 all around. And I'm also going to add 20 here for the left and the right. Now, let's take a look at our final results. So I'm going to save this, save this one more time. And then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. So you can see here as I mouse over it, it's showing our effect. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.